So I just disconnected the oil filter here from the bottom of the bike. It was just on this metal plate here and just attached by bolts actually to the side of this bottom bracket here. Uh, pretty simple and as you can see it's pretty dirty back there and that will all clean up at some point. But thank goodness those tabs are still intact. This side stand lug here is just a little bit of a mess. I haven't quite decided what to do with that yet. So I couldn't wait. I'm going to try and take this uh, time inside cover off. I've uh, just snapped, um, released these Allen keys and they seem to be all fine. Um, I haven't taken them any further out than that. Uh, what I haven't done, they haven't touched these screws yet. So we'll see how easy they are to undo. Oh, there's one there. This one. I'm busting to see what's inside this case. <laughs> Hopefully there's something in there. So this is um, a 1966 engine, so it should have had a taco drive, I guess uh, the previous owner has blanked this off at some point in time. That seems to be just spinning for some reason. No, it's coming, it's just a long thread. Oh, something fell there. This is coming off anyway, so what the heck. But you know what, I'll leave that for now. Uh, let's... That's not budging. That's not budging. That's knackered, that screw thread, that screw head. I'll, uh, I'll get new screws. I'll get a new set at some point. Yeah, okay, good. All right. So that's all the screws removed. And uh, what's very encouraging right now is to see that we've got some oil dripping from underneath, which hopefully tells me there's quite a bit of oil in there. And um, let's see. So we're just going to try and remove this case now. Yeah, it's already pulling away. And that's a lot of oh, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. That's great. Excellent. Yeah, very happy with that. Full of oil, very well lubricated. The Auto Advance unit there as well. I'll check that out. Chains look, to, I'm not sure about that one, uh, look good so far. There was a nut on the other side of that blanking plate, I never expected that, so um, I saw it drop into the bottom of that oil pan, so 
that's from there. You'll see there's a, there's another one. Oops, sorry. So there were two screws that went through for the blanking plate and they were sealed with a nut at the other end. This one's on. I, I realised as soon as I heard that go clunk that the nut had gone to the bottom of the pan, so uh, but to the bottom of the plate. So, so far so good. Um, yeah, all right, great. That's a great start. So here's a first look inside the case and things seem to be okay. Um, there's some surface rust there uh, that I can address. The chains seem to be in decent condition. Um, looking at the gears as well, the teeth on the gears, everything seems to be fine. Um, there's a problem there with that seal there on the oil pump by the looks of it. It looks a little perished and uh, we have the spring down here. Uh, that circlip there has unseated itself or was probably never seated properly in the first place. Um, again, but everything's coming apart anyway. So uh, uh, the auto advance unit seems to be in decent condition. Uh, I couldn't quite make out the teeth, but obviously the chains there. But I'll take a, I'll take a look when it comes off. Um, but um, anyway, that's that's it for now. And uh, not half as uh, scary as I expected, to be honest, when I, I took the uh, the casing off, the cover off. I thought it would probably be a lot worse than this. But um, it seems like there's been quite a lot of oil, at least, flowing through the bike with all uh, the previous owner's precautions. I'm just going to put the case cover back on now. And then I'll save that for another time when the engine's out of the frame and on the stand for uh, working on.